Good morning. 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 Good afternoon. Good. Whatever time it is. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Wally Rocks. I'm your host, Mr. Wally. And I'm standing on a rock. Let's get into it. This lesson is on the New York State Regions and Bedrock Maps, which is page two and page three of the reference tables. Here we have the region page, page two. Uh, each part of this map, you have the region and the region name. It's pretty straightforward. They're just divided by solid lines and dotted lines where the transition is. Uh, the next page is where all the complicated stuff happens. And this page is showing you latitude and longitude and the bedrock structure of New York State. So underneath all the soil. Here is the, uh, the key for it the, with the period, the type of rock. Getting rid of this real quick, we're gonna go over latitude and longitude. Here we have latitude where the numbers are right here and notice there is no direction on them. That's, we just have to assume that latitude is always north or N and longitude is always gonna be west because New York is in the northwestern hemisphere of the world. Always assume N and W when working with the New York State map. Now, a little review on latitude and longitude. Your latitude lines are defined by numbers and they're always gonna be in the 40s. So going down here, 40 degrees, 30 minutes, all the way up to 45 degrees. Right here I've outlined the 43 degrees and it's very helpful to draw lines from 143 to the next showing that this all the way across here is the latitude 43 degrees. And that works for all the whole numbers 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Now let's do longitude. Here's 78 degrees west, 78 degrees west, connect the two, connect the whole numbers and then once you connect all of them, that's longitude. I highly recommend doing this for yourself on the reference tables so you can get a good idea of the latitude and longitude lines of New York State. I don't really know why they don't do this. Maybe just not to make the whole map more confusing. But this looks a lot easier to read now that I know where all the lines are, latitude longitude wise. Let's go into a quick example here. Now, the latitude and longitude are, on this map are read in degrees and minutes. So if you notice here, it, this marker is 43 degrees, zero minutes. And this top marker is 44 degrees, zero minutes. Now the second uh, units here in minutes goes from zero to 60, just like time. And we read it the same way. So 44 degrees, zero, zero minutes is the same as 43 degrees 60 minutes. So in the middle between 0 and 60 is going to be 43 degrees 30 minutes. Now if we ask the question what is the latitude of Old Forge? You just check out Old Forge, the dot was here, read across, halfway in between 43 degrees 30 minutes and 44 degrees is 43 degrees 45 minutes because halfway between 30 and 60 is 45. Let's do a quick longitude one. Longitude, here we have 77 degrees west, 76 degrees west, in the middle 76 30, 76 degrees 30 minutes west. What's the longitude of Ithaca? Straight up and down, longitude, 76 degrees 30 minutes. What's what city is found at the latitude and longitude of 43 degrees, 5 minutes north, 76 degrees, 15 minutes west? So what I would do then is find what latitude, up and down, and on each side, draw the line. Here's 43 minutes, 5 degrees, this is my approximation, and 76 degrees, 15 minutes west, Here's 76, here's 77. So 76, 15 must be like here ish, because 17, 30 is like there. You read it up and down, and you get smack dab in the middle, Syracuse. That's an example for latitude and longitude. Now let's get right into the bedrock of New York State. 
here, right here we have the periods, we have the rocks, and we have the origin of these rocks. It's kind of a combination of these two reference table sections. We have the geologic period or the time that it was formed, and we also have the type of rock. Right here it has listed a time with the, with the symbol and rock, the type of rock. Right here, just Cambrian and early Ordovician, sandstone and dolostone. And that is a part of the dominantly metamorphosed rocks. And these three symbols all line up into this category of dominantly metamorphosed. Right here, these are dominantly sedimentary. And right here, dominantly or intentionally, intensely metamorphosed. Now, example one. We got three examples to go through just real quick. What is what region is this red dot in? Here's the red dot. This is the region. So it must be Tug Hill Plateau. Boom. That's an easy one. Now let's do page three. What period was the bedrock formed in at this latitude and longitude? So first step would be to find where exactly they're talking about. So latitude, 41 degrees, 30 minutes north. There's my latitude line. Then I would go ahead and draw my longitude line, 74 minutes, 74 degrees, 15 minutes west. That would be here. And right where they meet is this kind of slanted hash mark pattern. And then slanted hash mark pattern is right here and the period that the bedrock was formed at this latitude longitude is the Ordovician period because the hash mark is the symbol for the bedrock and the Ordovician is the period that the bedrock formed in. Example three, this is where they kind of combine both maps and this can get confusing because uh, you're actually doing three different things. It's asking for the time that they formed, what region is dominated by that time. So here's the time that the bedrock formed in, Cambrian and Ordovician, so I find it right here, Cambrian and Ordovician, which is this plus pattern. And then I go over here to find the plus pattern is only in this part of New York State. Now I have to look at this part and then switch back to the region page because it's asking for what region I have the time I have the bedrock symbol and I switch back to the region page and kind of have to estimate what region these rocks are in now it's pretty easy with the PowerPoint a little harder with the reference tables but easily seen with the PowerPoint is that the Manhattan prong is the region for the bedrock that was deposited during this time. Boom. Go ahead and try it on your own now. Thanks for watching.